West Virginia State University is an 1891 land-grant HBCU, Historically Black College and University. And this year we're celebrating 130 years of uh, service to West Virginia. Prior to this, West Virginia State was the only uh, field in the Mountain East Conference that did not have an artificial turf field. Uh, in addition to that, we have never had lighting. That means we've never had a night game here before. It means a lot. You know, we're, we're blessed to have great facilities at West Virginia State, and this just is another facility that we can show off to recruits, to our student athletes, to alums, and it's something that all of us can take pride in. The WVSU Foundation has been very, very supportive of this project, and so we partnered with the Honey Bear uh, project and, and with Musco Lighting to provide the financing up front for the project. The Honey Bear project was started by Willie Lanier, uh, an NFL uh, Hall of Famer, who uh, was a graduate of an HBCU, Morgan State University, um, and in his years with the NFL, he realized that people who uh, had gone through HBCUs were at a disadvantage when it came to competing for spots in the NFL. And so the Honey Bear project is about about uh, improving the facilities at HBCUs to literally level the playing field to give uh, graduates from HBCUs a better opportunity to succeed as uh, professional football players. Homecoming at West Virginia State is always a big event and having a night game for the first time at West Virginia State University it's made homecoming even more important. Alums are wanting to come back, former student athletes are wanting to come back to see the field. We're just blessed that we're able to do this during homecoming. With the con different controls from Musco Lighting, the ability to change colors, the syncing the, the colors with the songs, it's one of those things where I think that fans will want to come to see and fans will want to keep coming back for. Uh, the excitement about this facility in the community um, and among our alumni who are here for homecoming, uh, as word has spread, at first I think they didn't believe we were really going to do it. And then as pictures started coming out of the progress in the construction, uh, the excitement just built. And uh, our athletic director was telling me we have a um, uh, recruiting visit for high school football players uh, today. Initially, uh, we weren't going to be very ambitious about that and we had only reached out to a few uh, recruits, but they've been calling us because they've heard about this field and they want to see what's going on here. So it's huge. It's going to be huge for recruiting for us um, and for um, the impact that we can have on the community.